So in this video, let us solve some problems based on probability. So here we have a question. A coin is tossed thousand times with the following frequencies. Head is 455 and tail is 545. Compute the probability for each event. Now since the coin is tossed a thousand times, the total number of trials is a thousand because it's done thousand times. Now let us call the events of getting a head and of getting a tail as E and F respectively because there are two events happening here. One is getting a head is one event and another one getting a tail is another event. So let us call calling a head. I mean the event of getting a head is P of E or, or simply E. So event of getting a head equals E and event of getting a tail is F. So the event of getting a head is E and the event of getting a tail is F. So then the number of times E happens, that is the number of times a head come up is 455. So now let us find the probability of E. So the probability of E is nothing but the number of heads divided by the total number of trials. So if you compare this to the formula that we did, number of trails in which the event happens, so we are talking about the number of heads even, so that is why we've just written it as number of heads divided by the total number of trials. So it is 455 divided by 1000 which is nothing but 0 0.455. So the probability of the event E is 0 0.455. Now let us find the probability of the event of getting a tail. That is nothing but probability of event F. So which is nothing but number of tails by the total number of trials. So the number of tails is 545 as in the given data, divided by 1000, which is the total number of trials. So this is nothing but 0 0.545. So therefore, the probability of the event F, that is the event of getting a tail, is 0.545. So note that in both of the cases above, 0 0.455 plus 0 0.545 equals 1, which indicates that E and F are the only two possible outcomes of each trial. So that means to say we haven't really considered the possibility of the coin not getting or, or, or not showing a head or a tail. So that is a coin standing neutrally. So let us solve another problem. Two coins are tossed simultaneously 500 times and we get two heads 105 times, one head 275 times and no head 120 times. Find the probability of occurrence of each of these events. So now, first of all, there are three events, so let us give them all a name. So I would say two heads is E. So E is two heads. F is one head and G is no head. So now, as we know from the previous problem, let us find the probability of the event E. That is two heads. There is nothing but the number of two heads by the total number of trials. The number of two heads is 105 divided by the total number of trials is 500. So here we get 0.21. So therefore the probability of the event E is 0.21. That is the probability of two heads is 0.21. And then we have the probability of the event F. So the number of one head is 275 divided by the total number of trials, which is 500. So here we get 0.55. So the probability of the event F happening is 0.55.
and the probability of G, which is the probability of no head, is uh, 120 by 500 because the total number of no head is 120 and the total number of trials is 500, so we get 0.24 here. So therefore, the probability of the event G happening is 0.24. So again, if you notice, the sum of 0 0.21, 0 0.55, and 0.24 is 1. So E1, E2, and E3 cover all the outcomes of a trial. So in case this doesn't sum up to 1, then we've definitely missed out one of the outcomes. That's what this means.